is rainy and windy. It hasn't started here yet. Really? Uh -uh. Like a tornado. Okay, I get very confused about this. We're under a tornado warning. No, we're under a tornado watch. Yeah. But I always get confused because to me, ever since I was little, I was like, that should be the opposite way. It should be a warning if if it might happen and a watch, you should be watching. See, if I think of it the other way. Watch means the conditions are right. So we're watching out for one. Okay. It's forever screwed up in my head. Happy Saturday, everybody. We hope you're safe and warm and sunshiny wherever you are. We are all of into you studios and Carolyn's going to do our introduction now because last week she said she was going to do our introduction. <laughs> You've had all week to work on it. I'm ready to hear it. Come and on, I Carolyn. totally forgot. Okay, let's see <laughs> what I can do on the fly. So I'm Carolyn. I merely dye the yarn that you see behind Michelle over there. My wonderful, illustrious business partner, who let's see is in charge of customer service, <laughs> shipping. Uh, let's see, what does she not do? Social media. Um, gosh, I know you, she basically does everything else. So there you go. <laughs> and that was Carolyn's introduction. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn, for that. That's Carolyn, by the way. I'm Michelle. We are the two you behind Olive and Two You Studios. And if you like fun, laughter, and the occasional mistake, you're in the right place. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. Connie's here. Luann's here. Arlene's here. Julie's here. Sharon's here. Faith is here. They're all just talking without us. I don't even know that we need to be here. Mm -hmm. Lydia's here. Liz is here. Carol's here. Connie's here. They're all discussing their Karen Leggett's here. Tulsa Trio 5 is in the house. Nice. Um, Ooh, someone mentioned the sweater. Belinda's here. The sweater? There's the a sweater. sweater. There's a sweater? The sweater. <laughs> They're all chatting about their weather. Hi, Pam and Diane and Eleanor and Belinda. Oh, Belinda, I hope you got my email this week. Um, Jana, that would be one of my mistakes. I tell you, we will make mistakes. We will always fix them but we will make mistakes. I'm flat up, straight up, honest about that because my brain is getting older by the moment and I try not to make mistakes, but they do occur. Anyway, Indeed. happy Saturday. We hope your weather is better than ours. We are under some severe weather. Um, so we hope that there's not going to be any issues with the internet today, but you never know how that can go down. Yeah. Can we just talk about the elephant in the room? Please do. I am the elephant. A purple elephant. A purple elephant. Yes, this is my beautifully basic tea. And I have to tell you. So last week on the live, I was so, I was just like, I just need to put the sleeves on the needles and get them done. And I had decided to go ahead and do short sleeves because I needed to be done with it because I have another long sleeve sweater that I want to get done before Scotland. We'll talk more about that momentarily. So I decided I was going to do short sleeves. And these sleeves are like nothing to do. Do you think I knit on it this week? Not so much. <laughs> Until last night. I was busy. And then last night. Well, I actually got the sleeves on the needles earlier in the week. I did do that because I pick up stitches for sleeves much better with an early morning brain than I do a late in the afternoon brain. So I woke up this morning at like 5.30 one morning. I was picking up the sleeve stitches on one of the sleeves and um, got them started. But I think it was that thing where, oh, there's not much left to do. Oh, it'll it'll just take me a little bit of time. There's not much to do until the end. And I'm like, shoot, I want to have this for Saturday. So I was started working on it diligently again last night. And um, then I got really tired. So I went to bed. So I got up this morning. Literally, y'all, literally, I had to finish it this morning. Not just a couple rows. I had... 13 rows to do on the sleeves, um, including some, some knit one, no, knit two, purl two um, ribbing, and then bind off in pattern. So, um, so anyway, it got done, like, just before I hopped in the shower to do the live. And then I was like, oh, it's a hot mess, because I don't have time to block it. And then my genius business partner, um, who has much better common sense than I do, says, steam it. I'm like, I don't have a steamer. She's like, how about an iron? <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I ironed it and it fixed all the issues. You know, I, I have a hard time standing up here because you guys can't see it, but um, 
You are back right up. I don't up. have a lot of space here, so I'll do my best. But there it is, sleeves and all. Um, yes, I know the weather's bad. Here comes Jim, the weatherman. I know it's terrible. I get it. And it's almost to her, too. Okay, it's almost to you, too. We've had our weather update now. Thank you. Oh, it's to me. I was wondering when it was going to get to me. It's almost there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yes, he, he literally, like his son has said, why were you not a weatherman? So, Because God called him to ministry. That's all there is to it. <laughs> anyway, so I was really happy that um, the iron worked beautifully. I told Carolyn just before we came on, I said, you know, I don't really need to block it, except it would be nice to wash it. It didn't get a wash. So I'll probably still duck it in the sink and, and wash it. Um, it looks fabulous. So I'm really happy with it. I have to say, I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm really happy that it's done. So this is happy hour. You may remember Carolyn did her beautifully basic Henley. Is that mm -hmm. what it's called? Yep. Um, long ago and far away in, in this colorway, she dyed it at the same time and I'm just a straggler. So anyway, that's what it is. This is happy hour. This makes my third beautifully basic tea. I didn't bring the other two today. Um, but yeah, and then I will, I've got the yarn for my fourth, which is going to be in pomp and circumstance, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm doing it in. Yeah. Oh, so that is for another BBT? I think so, unless I changed my mind, but that's, that's my plan. That's my plan. Okay. Billy says I need lavender glass frames to wear with my new sweater. You do. I bet very Scotland looking that way. We got stuff to talk about about Scotland too. So I don't know if you noticed um, the, the theme of the newsletter today, if you've opened up your newsletter, newsletter is icing because this week is all about all the sparkly, pretty things that make stitching so much fun. And we've got several of those things to show you today. Um, but we're going to talk real quick about the yarn that was restocked in the shop. <clears throat> so I'm super excited about Pomp and Circumstance, which is a true black, right, Carolyn? Yep. I mean, it's about as black as black can be. So if you need a really dark black, that's your colorway. What does the fox say? Gorgeous. This actually came out of the 12 days of Christmas or the eight nights of Hanukkah, which 12 days, 12 days, paper straws, gorgeous, gorgeous blue, which by the way, a lot of people are using to do projects in support of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It's a great colorway with smooth as or any of those colors. Hurricane season, which seems even though today's not a hurricane day, seems particularly appropriate for the weather out here today. And then pomp and circumstance on Austin, which is that wonderful, wonderful mohair. Um, it's a great, great blend. Mohair silk, right? Yes, yes. mohair silk. Kid mohair and silk. So, what I'm getting one of my projects with, I'll show you later. Yes, yes, yes. So that's what's restocked in the shop today as far as colorways. Lonnie wants to know how many skeins does this take? I always have her do five skeins for me for a BBT, and I usually always end up with a full skein left over. So it just depends on your size. Um, but I'm not confident enough to say just dye me four skeins yet. So I always end up with one left over, but that works because, you know, who's going to say no to more yarn? And if you do long sleeves, then you would exactly. probably use that. Luann says she's in love with the color. She may need some. We agree, Luann. We agree. We agree. Great color. Um, but the beautiful basic tee is like the easiest sweater ever to knit. Like I could almost do it with my eyes closed. Good morning, Charlotte. Um, in fact, I'm trying to decide what project I'm going to take to Scotland. Have you decided yet what your project's going to, you said socks, but have you? I'll probably take socks because I need something that I can just, you know, mindless because I'm going to be so distracted. I know. So distracted. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not a great sock knitter. I've done them. I'm almost thinking I might do a BBT. There you it's go. It's not that big of a project. I mean, it's all right. It's not that And you've big. done enough now that for you, it's like. That's, that's mindless. Exactly. And then I'll have my fourth BBT done. Yeah. Awesome. Can we just talk about Scotland for a minute before we dive into some other stuff? Sure. Okay. Ooh, can I tell you what I bought for Scotland? Tell us what you bought for Scotland. As Mike from Iona Craft Shop would call them, waterproofs. I bought waterproofs. <laughs> I Good. bought a pair of waterproof pants. And I thought I tried them on last night and they fit. And I thought it was just going to be, you know, just waterproof. But it turns out they're fleece line too. So they're going to be warm. Where'd you get those? Amazon. You know, I don't know about me wearing fleece line 
pants. I already look like the Michelin man. So <laughs> it's just going to add more bulk to my already bodacious legs. <laughs> These um, are bulky. And I told Bo, I said, they're not overly attractive. And he was like, are you going to care if it's raining and the wind is blowing? I was like, good point. <laughs> Let me tell you something over there. When you're on the islands, it is about practicality. It is not about, um, you know, it is not about fashion show time at all. Yeah. Connie, the tour is um, April 22nd to May 2nd. Those are the dates. Some of us are leaving early which I want to talk about, as a matter of fact. But before I do that, and we've got lots to show you today, so stick around. Um, before I show you that, I just, I'm very excited about this. That's a big, big package. If you are going to Scotland with us, this is one of the things that's going to be in your goodie box coming to you soon. This beautiful, beautiful package that contains something pretty stinking amazing inside of it. I'm so overwhelmed with the packaging on this. It's beautiful. Can't wait to get this to you. Everybody who's going to Scotland gets one of these and um, among other things, but this is, this is the biggest part of the swag. If you will say, I'm very excited about it. Carolyn, this is yours. Ooh, this is yours. It. So I will give this to you the next time I see you. Okay. Like, it's pretty stinking amazing if I do say so myself. You open if, yours? I did open mine. You happy with it? I'm overjoyed with it. But I'm not going to show you. And oh. I'm not going to tell you because it's a surprise. a surprise. So if you are going to Scotland with us, this is a piece of housekeeping. I will send an email as well. Um, but it's a lot of emails to send. So if you hear this now, I would really appreciate it if you would respond. If you are going to Scotland early and you have already booked your stay at the Hilton Kensington for nights before the um, the tour, please email me your reservation number. CIE Tours is going to try, no guarantees, try to make it that if you're staying there ahead of time, you don't have to sh shift rooms when the tour begins. So keep that in mind. Um, go ahead and send me your reservation number. She first said, I need the names. And I'm like, okay, that's easy enough. Gave them the names and like, turns out we need the reservation number. Okay, let me do that all over again. Nothing like some extra work. Yes. So um, please shoot me your reservation number for your stay at the Hilton Kensington if in fact you're going early. So very, very excited about that. CIE Tours will be sending me their goodies um, to get to you, all of your extra stuff, you're going to get a backpack and you're going to get a, an outlet converter for electric. You're going to get a rain poncho. You're going to get luggage tags, all kinds of goodies, plus the extra swag that we're adding in there. Well, they're, they're going to send us theirs. And then I will be making arrangements with everybody to get you your stuff. Typically about three weeks out from the tour is what they've told me. So, yes. Do you know, we have a couple people doing a tour of Ireland in the weeks ahead. And then they're going to meet us in London for the tour of Scotland. That's awesome. I love very, it. Very, very exciting there. Is anybody sorry they're not going? I'm just saying. <laughs> Probably so. If sorry you're not going. Let me know. Um, anyway, we're very excited about it. So lots of fun coming up about Scotland. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's six weeks out. I went yeah. to the bank yesterday and got our currency. And yes. that was exciting. And it's all like brand new, um, brand new bills, pretty much. And they're pretty fancy. It. They've changed them, I think, since we were over there before. Yeah. Fancy. So anyway, very, very, very excited. Um, why don't you talk about what you're knitting on right now? And I'll get organized to show them all the things here because there's a lot of things here. Okay. So the one that you all have seen the most of and will continue to see more of because I am very, very slowly inching my way through it was the Pearl Code Cardigan by Isabel Kramer, which I am doing in Pomp and Circumstance on Rawling. So you can see there, um, there is a, well, I don't know how well you can see it. Um, there is a tiny bit of a tonal quality to it. Maybe you can see it more in my project. I'm so close to binding off. I'm on my ribbing down at the bottom. I was going to say, you said inching, but you're, you've made a lot of progress. Well, I guess it just feels. I do want this for Scotland. So I'm going to have to get a move on because I do have to do the, the button band after this and the neck. 
and the sleeves, which are long sleeves, of course. So I am going to have to uh, get a move on because I still want to finish two, no, three other projects before Scotland. <laughs> one of which I cast on. I told you all about this one last week. This is Alexandra's airplane scarf. Michelle, you were yeah. the one that showed us this. So it's done in mohair. So I'm going with the theme here, pomp and circumstance <laughs> again on oh Austin. Yeah. But you know oh what I God. love about this project? Um, and I lost my, I didn't lose them. I set my stitch stoppers aside because I was knitting on it. But do um, you know what I love about this is that you knit it in a tube, literally, and all you do is knit, which for some people would probably drive them crazy. But for me right now, it's perfect because I can read while I do it. I can watch TV while I do it. You just knit, 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 through two skeins of Austin. Thank you very much. And it's in the round, right? It's in the round. So you just never end. So the only thing I have to do is make sure I don't drop any stitches. So I look at it from time to time. <laughs> to Julie me. wants to know what kind of hidden messages you've got in there. Are you going to be detained by security? Oh, in my pearl code? <laughs> no, I actually did. Um, I wrote them down. What did I do? Where's my pattern? I wrote them down. I will tell you what I did. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed, not ashamed, um, but I'm a little chagrined that I had to write them. Um, one of my words was calm. I like that. Do you? I thought, what does that say about me that I need the word calm? <laughs> my cardigan. Says you're I normal. did love. I thought I did an, a, another one, but I guess I only did the three words. Beautiful, love, and calm. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Hey, Kelly Keller just said hello and good afternoon from the train to Dublin from Belfast. That's awesome. Hey, say, Kelly, that's so cool. Hey, I just want to be clear for a minute because I have a tendency to put my foot in my mouth. When I said, aren't you sorry you're not going? Let me explain that. I wasn't trying to throw that in anybody's face. We're sorry you're all not going. I actually had a conversation with CIE this week and there is a chance, there is a chance that we could slip two more people in if you are a late comer and decide that you really want to go. There's a chance. But everything would have to be like really, really fast. So if you are traveling and you've got kids that want to go or, you know, adult children, or um, maybe you were on the fence, but now you're good and you really want to go, let me know. But let me know as soon as possible because there is a chance. But if it's going to happen, I've got to let them know like right away on Monday and we've got to get everything in quickly. There's a chance. Somebody asked me about it. I asked CIE, we kind of went back and forth. So anyway, there's a possibility. So if you're sorry, you're not going and wish you want to go now, let me know. That was what yes. that was about. It didn't come out right. And I didn't mean the way it sounded at all. I'm very sorry about that. That wasn't the way I wanted it to come out. I don't think it came out that way. Well, you know, you never know. Are you knitting anything else or is that it? No, that's it. I think I, I need to get going on those because I still want to do, I want to do a matching hat for my, um, cause these both are going to go with me to Scotland. I want to do a matching hat and, oh, a vest, which I'll talk about that next week. Cause I didn't print out the pattern or anything. So. Okay. I still want to do that bulky sweater in Swan White. You should. I do. I really want to do it, but I'd have to lean on my dyer friend and who knows, you know, she's a little wishy-washy. So. <laughs> yeah. You never know what you'll get out of her. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Let's talk about all the icing that I have in front of me first before we get on to what I am going to be working on. Yes. So we talked about the new yarn in the shop this week. First of all, I want to show you these beautiful sets by, and I'm never sure if I'm saying her name right. Sharon could help me, but I'm not good at this. Bialo Payton Designs. Her name is Deidre. She is an artisan up in New York City who makes these beautiful, beautiful shawl pins she makes lots of things. This is only a portion. And these amazing fish hook cable needles with this texture. This actually has a patent on it. She had applied and her patent just came through is my understanding. Nice. We only have a couple of these left. If that, I haven't seen sales this morning. Um, but they, and they're different. They're all unique and different. So how Love pretty are these? 
Each shawl pin comes with also the cable needle and they're all unique and different. These are handmade by Deidre in her studio in New York City. So you, may, if you're part of the curated you, you may know this, this, this was in your box this month and we got really good reviews on this. She does amazing things. We may or may not um, carry more of her stuff in the future. I hope to, but she's got lots of different things. So I can't promise you we'll have more of the shawl pins. They're really beautiful. They make a nice presentation. They each come just like this with the shawl pin on the outside of a beautiful red burlap bag. She did such an amazing job. And then the size two cable needle inside. So they're beautiful. They make a great gift for yourself or someone else. And they're part of the beautiful, um, beautiful, um, I just lost my train of thought, sorry. Anyway. They're gorgeous. Yes, when you make something hand knit, you deserve the icing to have the pretty things on top. So Absolutely. these are hammered bronze, if I, I believe I'm saying that right. So I totally love these. Just a few of these in the shop. I don't I don't think there's three left. I think there's only one or two left right now, if that. So if you want them, I recommend you like go on your other device and snag those right now because you don't want to miss out. I don't know how long it would take me to get more. So there's that. Um, Birdie Parker Designs, we love, love, love. She's another amazing artisan that we have some of her things in the shop as well. If you were ever at the Knit Nook, you may have seen some of her items at the Knit Nook. I love mine. I should have worn it today, but I didn't. I wore this instead. The Rowan is a beautiful necklace. Look at that. It's a knit design. And we have one in copper. And we, I didn't bring the silver one over here, but we've got one in silver as well. I think they're both a 20 inch chain. Really, really beautiful. I love that. It's such a statement piece. It shows you're a knitter, but it's really fashionable. Like it's it's understated and I like understated. Really oh. beautiful, very reasonably priced, sterling silver and one in copper. Really beautiful. Only one in each right now in stock in the shop um, if they've not sold. And then we've got the earrings as well. We've got knit and crochet earrings. So these are the knit. They also are in the sterling silver, and then we also have them in the copper. Let me get them turned around right. In the copper for the knit. And then we also have the crochet, both in, I believe, sterling silver and copper. So we've got crocheters all taken care of as well. Crochet also, and also in the copper for the crochet. And then I'm surprised we still have this in stock because Carolyn's such a bracelet maven. This is a silver double wrap knit pearl bracelet. See, I told you. Did I know that we had this? I don't know. Some things I hide from you. You probably do. It's a good um, idea. <laughs> it's a double wrap bracelet. Again, very understated. And it is knit pearl, knit pearl. Really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got um, shawl cuff. I didn't bring it over here, but shawl cuff. And then some, oh, I did. I did, I did, I did. Really beautiful. I love this orange. If you're an orange fan, you need this shawl cuff. And then also this really neat crochet bracelet with the brass on it. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that. I love it. Me too. Gorgeous stuff. Then we also have our stuff from the laundress, which is a great line of items to help you care for your hand knits. My favorite is this cashmere brush. Um, it helps you take care of, it's called a cashmere brush. It helps you take care of your sweaters, your cashmere. It's lovely, says the laundress on it. It's really nice and soft. And then of course we've got the, this, I love the way this stuff smells, the cedar spray. So you don't have to wash your hand knits as often and it gets more life out of them. And then also the wool and cashmere soap. You just use a little bit. I use this sometimes to block with instead of eucalyn. And it smells amazing. So that's in the shop as well. And then the sweater stone. It's like a, kind of almost like a pumice stone to take care of your hand nets and get the pills off. And then also we have a sweater comb that I don't have over here right now. And you guys, I, we sold a lot of the sweater combs and the stones because they take really good care of your sweaters. So... Good to keep in mind for that. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. It's all the pretty things this week. All this and that week. sweater brush, I can attest to that. I was at first, I was like, do I really want to brush my hand mitts? But it gets the, um, with the pills off beautifully. It gathers them all together. Yes. Yes. 
they're great to take care of your hand nets. Speaking of beautiful things, um, so I was sitting down the other night, not last night, night before last, sitting there doing the little bit of knitting I did on this this week. And it was like eight or eight thirty, and an email came across my phone, and it was a Tenti dropping their new spring stuff, and I was like, oh. so I ran right up here and placed an order, quick like a bunny. So we've got new Atenti on its way to us, new Atenti on the way, and I'm in love with some of these things. So the link is in your newsletter. They're on pre-order because they haven't gotten here yet, but they will be getting here, and they're gorgeous. One of the things I'm most excited about are the little accessory bags with the birds on them. They are adorable. So cute. They are. So cute. And then just to remind you, so this is what we have in stock right now. This is one of the items. This is the La Tigra, La Tigra, La Tigra oh, bag. Right. This is a tall caddy. So it has the handle that goes through the loop in the front to close it. It's got multiple um, pockets inside and out. Very, very functional and nice to have. Then we've got, this is the grand pouch. I love, love, love this cowgirl print in the grand pouch. And then one of the other, we've got multiple things in right now, but this is also a tall caddy. This is, I think this is called Diablo. Oh, I love that. Really, really dramatic colors. Beautiful. And then one of the other little accessory pouches that I love, and we've got multiple designs of this, are the sugar skulls. The fun sugar skulls and they're super cute. They've got the vinyl over it. So they're really playful and whimsical. Those are in stock right now. Otherwise, we've got those other Atenti items and they are to die for for spring. They're super, super beautiful. Nomadic knits. Guess what I have in my possession? You have them, don't you? I have them. They came in yesterday or was it day before yesterday and they're here, two big heavy boxes. Jim had just donated blood so he couldn't lift, he couldn't carry the boxes upstairs because they don't let you lift. Um, I can't ship them until March 25th, but they are here. Last I looked, we've only got six or seven more copies on pre-order right now in the shop. So if you um, have not yet ordered yours, we've got the upcoming knit along. And the only way to participate is to have the book because they don't release the patterns independently. So you want to keep that in mind, but it's only six or seven more copies in the shop right now for pre-order for Nomadic Knits. Beautiful, beautiful magazines. I'm so excited about that. And that one is all hats and socks, except for a couple of patterns. It's all yeah. hats and socks. So super, super quick. I'm excited. Florida road trip. Oh my gosh. People are buying two and three kits for this, which I think is awesome. They can't wait to do it. Yeah. Very excited about that. So we put some new kits in the shop this week because our other selections were really dwindling. I want, I've got to show you two of the kits I'm most excited about. This, I think, might be my favorite of all time now. Oh. I can't remember what I called it. I think I called it Summer. <gasps> I love it. So do I. This actually was born because a customer contacted me and we went round and round about colors and she ended up deciding on something very similar to this, but she used in tandem. And that was the inspiration behind this. And I am in love, love with this kit. Totally in love very with it. Cool. Beautiful. And then another one that I put together that I love for jeans, because this is so perfect for to wear with jeans. Get it out of the bag here. I package them up so I don't make mistakes. Um. This one, let me see if I can hold on to it easily enough. Perfect for denim. Oh, yeah. Really, really perfect for denim. So, and I still, we have people contacting us um, regularly about putting together some bespoke or custom kits. So if you're on the fence and don't like anything that we have in stock, then just let me know. And I'm happy to put together a kit that you'll love because you got to have something you absolutely adore for the Florida road trip knit along. That doesn't start till April 30th. So there's definitely some time to, to get your kit together and have all that fun stuff happening. So very excited about that. Cool. Yay. Are we doing giveaways for that? Yes, of course. I thought so. Any reason to give yarn away and other goodies, any reason at all. That's right. We like giving away things. Okay, speaking of yarn, I'm going to show you really quickly 
you know, if you're going to Scotland or even if you're not and you need some quick projects, our Chesterton yarn is the way to go. This is peach schnapps on Chesterton in stock now. Royal Flush on Chesterton in stock now. Um, Queen of Tarts, super popular in stock. And then the very popular No Limits on Chesterton. This is a super bulky yarn, quick to knit up. Got some it's reds in there. Pie, so it has a sheen to it. It's really, really beautiful. So don't forget, we've got the Chesterton, the super bulky. There are a few of you that that's mostly what you buy. And then I think others don't realize it's there maybe. So it's a very good thing to have in stock because it makes quick projects. You need a quick gift. You need something quick before a trip. That's the way to go. Want to talk real quick about cranky socks and QR codes. I know Christine Hall was a little frustrated because I think she'd had trouble scanning the QR code. Um, couple things. So the QR codes are becoming more and more prevalent in the things that we do. For subscription boxes, very often there's a QR code that'll get you to a page with more information or pattern links and things like that. So first of all, if you don't have a smartphone, it's not a problem. Very often, if you just search on our website for what you're looking for, like Cranky Sock Directions, it'll get you there that way too. So, or you can always email us and we'll send you a link to get you where you need to go. So never be intimidated or feel like you can't do something because you don't know how this works. But I'm also gonna show you how it works. First of all, we found out that if you have an Android phone, if you have an Android phone, you need to enable QR code scanning in your system. To do that, you go to settings. I'm reading it. Yeah. Go to settings. You set select system apps in your settings, tap on camera, and then toggle to enable scan QR codes. Okay. If you have an iPhone, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is open your camera. You don't have to have a special app and you simply point it at the QR code. It helps if you have it, right? <laughs> and once you do that, it will open up a little thing that lets, that lets you go right to the page. So it makes it super simple. So keep that in mind. So all you have to do is open up the camera, scan the code, and it usually, there's a little pop-up, it's small. There's a little pop-up that comes up and it will take you to the page. If you have Android, make sure you toggle your settings on. But always, you can always reach out to us and we're happy to get you where you need to go. Or like I said, if you just go on our website often and just, just type in the search bar what you're looking for, Cranky Sock Directions, it'll take you right there as well. Because all of that is hosted on our website. There's no magic behind it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I Because, yeah. I'm glad you said that because it didn't even occur to me that, oh yeah, that that's on our website. <laughs> it is on the website. It makes it super, super easy to do. Um, and you know, speaking of that, I want to mention something because I had a problem this morning. I was on my phone um, and I pulled up the newsletter because Michelle had set it up to go out as it always does at eight o'clock. So I was looking at my emails. I clicked on the newsletter and I wanted to see the new attenti bags. When I went to the attenti or that listing, I couldn't get, as you all know, I hope you know, if any time that we have something with multiple options and it, there's multiple pictures to choose from, yeah, you don't know. click on the picture. I mean, you can click on the pictures, they're pretty and you can see them, but that won't adjust the drop down menu. You need to click on the item in the drop down menu and then the picture should change to that item. Well, I couldn't get it to work. And so I said to Michelle, why is my picture not changing? And my genius business partner said, you need to clear your cache. <laughs> so don't forget, if you ever have problems, you might need to clear your browsing history or something like that, which I did. Get those cookies, man. Get don't need those cookies. Yes. So it is oh, raining gee. really hard right here right now is say. it yes. it's still not raining here it's raining hard it's dark and it's windy hmm. okay can we talk about what i'm gonna knit yes do i hope to cast it on today so my genius business partner was so kind as to dye me up some queen of tarts on tennyson dk and my original plan was to knit a forester and then i Forger. got intimidated huh forester forager, forager. Sorry, see, I will make mistakes all day long. Um, the forager. And then I got intimidated. Y'all, I'm, I'm still a baby knitter. 
No, I'm you're still a baby not. knitter. And I get intimidated. So I look at a pattern and go, ooh, ooh, I don't know if I can do that. Like like the plated pullover that all the yarn's in there for that I've never done because it's a stinking tubular cast on. It taunts me. Um, so then I started looking for a super simple DK weight sweater that wouldn't take so much, you know, brain power. And then Carolyn talked me back into the forager. So my goal is to cast on the forager today in Queen of Tarts. So I, my yarn is caked. I just have to get my needles and sit down and get started, which for me is the most, it's not, sometimes it's caking the yarn, but most of the time it's getting my needles together, getting the cable together, putting the whole stash of things that I'm going to need together. Um, but I've taken a cue from you, Carolyn. I think you told me one time, and if you didn't say this and I just got it some other way, then don't say anything. I'll take the credit. Um, I, I, I've started the last couple projects to like packing a project bag for that project for the things that I'm going to need for it. So a pair of scissors and my, including my tapestry needle for um, weaving it in. So I don't have to run around when I get finished and all, you know, stitch stoppers and all those things. And I have to say that's made it a much more seamless process and a little more streamlined. Good. So I'm really, really, um, really happy about that. So this is already squishy in the cake. And I think I'm going to really like the color. So I think it'll look great with jeans. So mm -hmm. that is, that's my hope is to, is to do this. Um, so I'm very excited. I hope to get it done today. We were going to, we were going to go look at Vespas today. We've been talking about a Vespa for a long time and then it kind of died down. And now, you know, we're like, oh, maybe now's the time. But this weather like this, I don't think we're going to go look at Vespas today. So, well, I think it's supposed to clear up this afternoon and get really cold. I like it. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be really cold. I can wear a turtleneck to church tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. Very excited. Good stuff. But yes, I found that bulky weight sweater and it's like, you know, people were saying it took them like, you know, 12 hours to knit it or something or less than a day. Really? Yeah. Cause it's bulky, but you need size 19 needles, which we don't have in stock. I'm not even sure Chow Goo makes them. I have to find out. And I'm, I think it's going to hurt my hands, but if it only takes like a day, of course, if it takes normal knitters a day, it'll take me six weeks. But, um, you know, what size what, needles did you say? 19s. Huh? Cause you know, um, I want to say I knit the Bonner beanie and I, are you sure it uses Chesterton then? It might use a, a heavier weight yarn than that. Cause I think the Bonner beanie, I didn't have to get special needles for it. I think I used like a size 15. It's on the pattern. Well, you know, it's like everything else. It's, you can use any needle size with any yarn. It just depends on what the fabric is that you're trying to make. Right. I mean, and I've seen, I've seen some patterns that use a fingering weight yarn and a size 10 needle. So yeah. it just, has well, yeah, to that's like uh, Austin, even though it's lace weight, I'm using size eight needles. Yeah, exactly. So it's the same thing, but I'll, I'll double check, but you know, I only want to knit with our yarn because I like knitting with our yarn. Mar Maggie has a question for you. Did you see my question about Socrates? I didn't. Hmm. Let me see. Carolyn, is Socrates okay for socks or should I plan something else? That's her question. So that is up to you. Um, Socrates is 50% superwash merino and 50% silk. So they would be very silky. And um, I don't know that they would hold their shape. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, would they stay up? I don't know. I've not knit socks with Socrates. You Obviously, you could. I would probably use Homer before I did Socrates. For a DK weight sock? Yeah. I think so, too. I'll let you, if you want to try it, Maggie, and tell us how it works out. <laughs> tell us how it goes. They would be very silky and very soft. So maybe if you're doing like a slouchy pair of socks. Possible. I'm going to show you one more thing. That's the icing. Check out this yarn bowl. It's basically a chrome yarn bowl. We sold several of these at the Knit Nook because they, they were the, always the first ones to sell. We also, well, we also, we also have, we also have wooden yarn bowls. So, if, and I love yarn bowls because they keep your yarn safe and clean. Because if you're anything like me, 
Um, it'll roll across the floor. And then if you have animals in the house, it could pick up all kinds of schmutz. So a yarn bowl keeps it nice and clean. These also make lovely gifts for to yourself or someone else. We've got wood and we've got this beautiful chrome. And you can use it as a mirror, as an aside. You can vogue in it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you're you. <laughs> I, you on. I actually don't vogue much, believe it or not. I just don't. Sharon says, I have that sitting in my living room, even when I'm not using it. The yarn bowl? I know they make great conversation pieces. They're wonderful conversation pieces. Hey, I ordered more Coco Knits this week because we're running low on some items in the shop on Coco Knits. Nice. Um, Sharon wants you to hold up pomp and circumstance, hurricane season, and what does the fox say? <laughs> yes. It's awesome together and would make an amazing... Florida road trip with one other color in there. I would recommend a red, holly jolly, spindle prick red, any of the 12,000 reds that we have in stock because Carolyn's a fan of red. That would be an amazing road trip or any kind of project. It would look great. Great, great, great. Yeah. Sharon, Ooh, she said she just sent you an email. 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 Hey, you guys, I hope you understand. I got a few messages this morning just before we came on live and a couple other emails. In the mornings, you're more than welcome to send it to us. Please just give me a little grace. It takes a little time to answer those. And when we're getting ready to go live, we're typically trying to get everything set up. And so I'm not always able to respond immediately. So thank you for your grace with that. It is pouring. It is slamming onto the windows here. You know, I we do live in an, it's kind of, uh, it's not a valley, but a general dip in this area of Lakeland. And we tend to never get as much rain as everybody else. Um, and it's, so it still hasn't started raining here, but. Interesting. Yeah. Can I tell you what Jim said to me this week? So we're getting ready to go do our funeral um, planning at our church because we're both want to be cremated and, and put in the ground in the courtyard there. And, um, and he said, so the fact that we're going to do this, does that mean that you don't want to retire to the Isle of Mole? I'm like, no, that's not at all what that means. No, no. I still want to, to move to move to Scotland and retire there. Um, I'll be burnt so my ashes can come back and I can be buried wherever. I thought it was funny. Hi. That's my plan, man. That's, that's my hey. plan. Good to have plans. Good to have plans. They don't always come to fruition, but it's good to have plans. Absolutely. Hey, I wanted to mention um, someone brought up, Diane, you mentioned up weaving in ends as you go. I want to say that was brought up in the yarn of use. I think, was it Dion that asked about a method um, and she posted a video and basically yeah. what it is, is um, if, if you're, as you're knitting, when you join a new yarn or there's, you know, whatever. There are instances, I feel like I'm talking uh, a riddle, but my point is like in this, because I'm knitting a tube, um, I, it's going to, well, I could turn it inside out and weave in the ends when I'm done, but what's the point? Cause I have to join, I'm going to do two skeins of this. So in the middle, I'll have to join another skein of yarn. Um, cause I'm not alternating skeins by the way. Uh, <laughs> shame, shame. But That'd anyway, yeah. So halfway through, I will have to join a new skein of yarn. And so I will do that method of knitting, you know, taking that other piece and knitting it behind so that I won't have to weave in ends at the end. There are times when those types of things, obviously, I think the answer that I gave or posted made it sound like, oh, I would never use that. Obviously, there are always times when you can um, weave in or knit in your ends as you go so that you don't have to weave them in at the end. So yeah. I have a question about this. I wasn't really following the conversation on that, and I've never read how to do that. When I start a new ball of yarn, I hold my yarn double for like four or five stitches with the old yarn and the new yarn. Am I weaving in the ends as I go? Well, I don't know. Do you end up why? So I'll, I'll take the new yarn. I'll loop it over the top of the needle, right? Yeah. With your old, with my old yarn and I will knit with the, so it's, it's double for. No, minute. you would still have a tail. Right. Right. Yeah. So you have a tail and then you weave that in. Yeah. So why do you hold it double then? Does it not show? 
it feels like it secures it better hmm. in there because otherwise that first bit is it can pull out for a while. It just feels like it secures it better. So I've always done that. It doesn't really, I mean, it's, it's ever so slightly thicker there, but unless you know, you wouldn't look, I mean, it, yeah, it's the only thing you have to remember is when you come back around to, to knit, like if knit you, those whatever, you have to remember to knit those two together, but you're going to see that because they're all in one stitch. Luann says she does that also. Okay. I'm glad to know. I'm not, no, but it. does that negate the need? I'm trying to think, does That's that negate asking. the need? That's my point. So Luann, do you still weave in additional ends or tails or do you consider that weaving it in? Maria says she double knits knots and praise. Oh, I was taught never to knot. I know. But it's not to say I've never done it. Just I'm not that. sure if that negates the need or not. I But you still have a tail, so you end up weaving it in anyway. So I guess my point is, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, well, obvious not, because I don't do that. <laughs> Diane says she does that also. I think it locks the end in. Kathy says yes. Okay, Kathy, are you saying yes that is weaving in your ends as you go, or are you saying, yes, you still need to weave them in? Because what I, what we were talking about and what that video that I think I'm thinking, I'm sure it was Dion posted it. I'm sorry if I'm getting that it's the person wrong who posted it. The idea is that you, as you knit, um, it's been a while since I've done it. So you go to knit your new one. So let me try this. And then you take the, your tails, because now I have two tails. And basically what you do is you put it over top or underneath, technically. No, it would be over top. You take it over top your new strand. It's kind of hard with lace weight to show it. But you go over top so that when you start knitting, it's basically behind your row of stitches. Okay. So that definitely negates your need for... Um, Kathy says, cut the tail. Yes, that is weaving in. Okay. And well, I say, hey, if, if you don't notice it, see, I did the method that I'm talking about in the video that was posted in the Yarn of Use. I, back when I first started knitting uh, sweaters, I did that on a sweater and hated it afterwards because you could really see it mm -hmm. even on the front. It looked a little bit bulky. Um, and I also did it the first time I tried, I think it was when we, you and I did that Sweet 17 shawl. And you could really see it on the back, even though it was the wrong side. You know, sometimes when you wear a shawl, you can see the wrong side. And so I didn't I didn't like that it was visible. That's Arlene says she uses philosopher wool method on YouTube. Belinda says I try to weave in as I would to catch floats. Yeah, that makes good. That's sense. basically. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That makes sense. So I was doing something like decently well, like just intuitively. You didn't even know it. Diane says, yes, but you do it for 10 or 12 stitches. It works well when using different colors. Okay. I love our community that we're a part of. Why, yeah, you're using different colors and you're knitting with two. Would that not be visible? If you have two different colors? Maybe it's in the back. I don't know. No, it would show up as a knit stitch. You just said you knit with it. You right. knit double stitches or not so, double stitches. You knit with two. Right. So the controversy continues. So <laughs> this discussion of sweat seven minutes has yielded no easy answer. <laughs> so you do what works for you, basically. I'm Your mileage may vary. Do what works for you. Indeed. Yes. That's the way it always is, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Someone Diane, else mentioned daylight savings time. Oh, yeah. It changes tonight. I get very confused. Barbara Albritton always has to keep me straight on this, and I'm so grateful she does. So does this go back to DST or when, for, I put, what, when I put 7 p.m. EST, is that what it's yes. going to be? We've been in EDT. Is that right? Yes. Which sounds weird. You would, what does the D stand for again? Day, isn't it daylight? See, this is why it takes Barbara. Oh, Alden. maybe we're back to EDT then. It hurts my head. I have taken, if y'all haven't noticed, I have taken in the newsletter and other things to starting to say Eastern time. I'm like, I don't know if it's daylight or standard. It's Eastern time, whatever we're on right now, because I hate messing it up. Faith says daylight. Good to know. Speaking of this Wednesday, I do believe is our third Wednesday night. So it's our virtual knit crochet spin and weave in. If you haven't been coming to those, they are fun. 
So be sure and put that on your calendar. Maria will be hosting this Wednesday, I do believe. And um, word on the street is she's lots of fun. Hey, if you got your Bridgerton watch party box ordered, we are working on those fast and furiously. There's some fun stuff coming out. So super excited about those. Are you yeah, talking? we're going back to EDT. Sorry. I, I had to see it for myself. That. I thought you were researching that. That's funny. Hate it when we're wrong on that stuff. Dry I hit it back. straight in my head and then it got all messed up. There's Barbara. Yes. I love how she keeps me straight. EDT is correct, she said. Speaking of Barbara, can I show you what she sent me? You should. I think she was afraid that um, you were getting too many things. <laughs> I always share. This. I know. That's okay. I don't mind. Look at this awesome book. It's called Worsted. I love it. And it's, uh, it was published by Lane, but it's basically a collection of worsted weight patterns that was curated by Amy of La Vienna Me. Nice. Can I just tell you, these are some awesome patterns. This is one. Check out this one. If I had time to knit this before Scotland, I would, because Ooh. it would be perfect with leggings, I think. That's beautiful. Yeah, there's lots of color work in here. Um, and some of the patterns I noticed, they do variations. So like there was one, uh, I don't know if I can find it really quick or not. It had, um, it was color work. And so there was a cowl version and a sweater version of it. Nice. Yeah. Well, just don't uh, forget that sharing goes both ways, sister. Do what now? That's yeah. sharing. You can share with me too. <laughs> Oh, is that what that means? That's what that means. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. <laughs> this is Mary. Um, anyway, yeah. So Andrea Mowry. Did you hear that? Whoa, that was some thunder. Yeah, it's raining now. Uh Stephen West. Oh, here it is. Look, here's the one that you can see there's a cowl up there. Oh, yeah. And the sweater. Gorgeous. Oh, Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I will be making something from here as soon as we get back from Scotland. Yay! Better start planning it now. I hear you gotta bribe the dyer to get your yarn. We have a we have a special. You have a special relationship. Yes. <laughs> Lonnie says Carolyn is getting rain now. Yes, yes, she is. Yes, I am. I think we've talked about all we should talk. What do you think? <laughs> now that we have confused everyone more than ever. More than ever. We're so glad you guys show up here every Saturday for our brand of crazy. Um, yes. we, get, we, we get a little silly, but we're, we have a lot of fun and we're grateful that you're here with us. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for being part of the Yarny Use and hanging out with us on Saturdays. Don't forget, we're always here to help. Customer service is our number one priority. If we make a mistake, we'll fix it. Yep. I always say that all the time. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Any parting shots, Carolyn? Nope, except have a great week. Have a great week. Take care. Be safe. See you in the art of use. Bye.